When it comes to half ton towable travel trailers, I find it hard to beat this brand right here. So let's go take a look. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound, and I am here at the Dallas RV Show. So back in my home state of Dallas, Texas, this is at Dallas Market Hall, where there are lots of different dealers represented here at this RV show. And I'm taking a look at this Forest River Flagstaff Microlite. Now, this Microlite brand has such a unique and distinguished look right when you step up to it from the outside. Doesn't look like your standard travel trailer with how you kind of have this like bubbled out front cap here. And this is a molded fiberglass front cap with a nice flush automotive grade front windshield up here as well. And this micro light brand from Flagstaff is also going to be the same as the Rockwood brand as well. So Flagstaff and Rockwood are gonna make a lot of similar products. Or they're actually the exact same. They just have a different name on the outside and different color schemes. And they have many different floor plans that I really, really like. And I'm telling you, when I am considering what RV I would wanna get for myself with my Toyota Tundra, this brand is up there in my top three and it has been for quite a while now. So we're gonna take a look at this one. This again is the uh, Microlite from Flagstaff. Again, Rockwood makes the same brand as well or makes the same product as well under a different brand name. And a lot of things I like about this because this is a smaller size travel trailer, really well built and extremely capable. Now, the reason I like this, and I'll explain just a little bit, then we're gonna get into this, why I like it because what I'm thinking, what I want out of a travel trailer is I want something that I can travel for three months straight in, something along those lines. So I look at things as far as, you know, how long can I stay in this thing before I'll get uncomfortable? One, two, does it have like the capabilities that I need to be able to do extended camping and things like that? And one of the first things I See right away in this size travel trailer you're getting 30 pound propane bottles standard up front here instead of 20 pound propane bottles so love that you also have a spot here where you could do a big 270 amp hour battery if you want so you have space for that you're going to have manual stabilizers on here which I don't really mind that because you can just hook a drill up to this right here shoot those down really quick I don't know that they're gonna be the most steady stabilizer system though. That's one of the only unfortunate things, but I obviously could live with that. Again, automotive grade windshield, you have your LED light bar up front here, slam latch baggage doors, and then they do have latches there as well. Um, or sorry, they have the magnets there to hold them. You have your awning out front, and then you have the LED light bar there. Frameless windows on the outside, so that's, like you see on this right here, this is what your standard travel trailers typically have. This micro light is giving you a frameless window. So all in all, as we go through this, you're gonna see this is a very high-end, compact camper, which is what I really love about it. And if you're wanting something even smaller, they also make something like the E-Pro here, which I'm also looking at these, which I like, if I want something even smaller profile that has a little bit more like rugged capabilities, they have those as well, which I'll probably film some of those while I'm here also. Ladder to get up onto the roof and you will have a slide out on the other side, plus your water connections here and outdoor shower. Now, as we come along this way, you're gonna have a spot out here where you can do a little griddle outside spot where you can mount a TV outside as well. And then this is the 21 DS floor plan. As we come up here, you can see a lot of the build qualities on this micro light. And then we're gonna step inside. A couple things I noticed right away, you have the solid step walking in. So this will fold up into the door and it is strut assisted. I mean, come on, on a travel trailer this size, you have a strut assisted step. I don't even know if anybody else is doing that on this size travel trailer. Love that. You also have the screenshot here, so that's going to allow your screen door to close automatically behind you. And then it also is coming with the privacy shade in the window going from the bottom up. So when you're inside your travel trailer, you can have that sense of privacy there with that privacy shade. So love all of that. Now, as we come inside here, this is gonna be an open concept floor plan. So no like dividing walls between your bedroom space and your living space really neutral colors in here as well and i like this color scheme because it allows you to add in your own decor to make the color palette in here what you want it to be for as far as like a pop of color would go it gives you a pretty neutral base to start with 
Lots of things I like about the brand in general, as far as just the color scheme, you have a little bit of a barreled ceiling, giving you a great ceiling height in here. Feels like it's gonna be somewhere probably around six foot six, six foot seven for the ceiling height. And then a nice U-shaped dinette table in this floor plan here. No carpet in the slide outs, but they are doing like a PVC woven, almost like an outdoor carpet kind of material, very flexible there as well. And then you have a sofa here, and I'm starting to like these floor plans more and more for myself, giving you a nice larger sofa here to lay out on. You have your TV here, which can swivel out so you can see it from your sofa right here. And then these also have recliners on them. So not terribly common seeing that. You get a little bit of a leg rest there on both sides of your sofa so that you can have a recline function. It's not actually gonna recline back, but you get a leg rest. So you have that and then all this space around here, windows on this side, pull down blackout shades on the window. Again, another more premium quality here. And you're gonna see there's a lot of quality stuff in this travel trailer and it's still not you know, outrageously priced. And we'll get to the price here as we go to the back of the travel trailer. This space is going to also convert into a bed, giving you nice little touches, like giving you this strap here, just making it easier to make this into a bed. So this is a jackknife sofa. And then this here will drop down. Now, you have to be aware, they do this really nice. I love the way they do their Murphy beds in these products because they're not as difficult to make the bed compared to some other Murphy bed setups out there. But you do have to be aware not to pinch your fingers because I have certainly done it myself. You can see right here, it is going to fold over right there and your fingers can pinch right where my hand's at. So you gotta be just a little careful. And sometimes it's difficult to do this with one hand, but I'm gonna figure it out. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so, wow, I just, oh, I love this. I really do love this. Let's get this straightened out there. Okay, so this is how your bed will set up right there, giving you a pretty standard looking, you know, about a queen size bed set up here. This actually looks like this is a true queen. Um, if it's not, I'll try to put the exact bed dimensions in the description of the video below. But look at this, they even give you a little shelf up here. You have your outlets there as well. And do these have USB ports in them? They do not, so just the outlet. It's strut assisted, so you can see the strut right there. So that's gonna assist you with this going up and down. But what I love about this is because the mattress doesn't fold at any point, one, you're not gonna have any creases in your mattress with this being a Murphy bed setup, and two, you can see here, the bed is perfectly made. So you can make your bed, then strap it in like this here, and it's gonna be good to go. I would imagine with this, you might even be able to like leave pillows there, have the straps go over the pillows, kind of compress them down, and your whole bed setup can be ready to go for you when you drop that down into a bed. So I really like that design with the Murphy bed. You get the windshield as well, again. Kind of a bummer that with the Murphy bed setup, you don't get the use of the windshield at all times, but obviously the you know give and take of having a floor plan this small in this space here you got your clothing set up there to store and hang some clothes and then storage through here as well and then these are all going to be solid hardwood drawers and cabinets it feels like as far as the doors on those there same storage on this side nice bedside table space here looks like you got outlets and usb ports there and you do have access to the pass-through storage underneath the sofa as well Okay, that's a light switch for that. And over here, looks like you got your solar power controls there and another outlet. As we move this way, in your slide out, you have a nice pantry space there. Pretty dang good size pantry. This is all in the slide out. And then again, U-shaped dinette table, freestanding table here, so you can move this around wherever you want. You could take it out of the camper even if you want and it will drop down to make this area into a bed. Love that you have some pull-out drawers here to get to that storage. And I, if you lift this up, looks like that'll be the only way to get to the storage as these are gonna be secured down underneath that booth. They also give you some storage up above the booth. Windows all the way around. Again, pull down blackout shades. Have a little bit more of a fancy looking light fixture there. I guess not terribly fancy, but not just a standard puck light. And then you come around this way, and again, where you see the quality in this camper, solid surface countertops, 
see all of your controls right here when you walk in as well and this is also some solar your, or that's your solar charge controller right there two pull out drawers these are nice as well these are right next to the door so what i think about with three, these drawers here is a, a great spot to put things like plasticware silverware um, paper plates plastic cups anything that you want to have quick access to from outside so you don't have to walk all the way through the camper to get to whatever is in these two drawers right there so i love that as well wireless charging pad here and it also pops up to be two outlets a usb and a usb type c outlet there so many different ways to charge devices window here window here and window here all on your camp side then you have a flip up countertop so that'll flip up like so giving you some extra countertop space you get a nice big single basin stainless steel sink and two divided sink racks here I didn't even realize those were divided at first. They looked like they were all one piece. I'll come back and put that back in place in a second. <laughs> Black faucet, and you have a three burner stove here. Nice, good size three burner stove. With a bit of a larger size oven than you see in a travel trailer this size as well. This is not your tiny, tiny travel trailer oven. So I love that too. Three pull out drawer spots again for some silverware here and two more drawers underneath it and then storage here for some sponges and things for your sink. Now, the only thing I'm seeing is like not great pots and pan storage in this kitchen space. Uh, microwave up here gonna be a standard size RV microwave. Does have a vent fan outside as well. And you have your AC up over your head here. It's a Coleman mock AC. So that's gonna be a nice quiet AC system. And it is ducted, not only ducted, but dual ducted throughout here. So you have you can see here ducting going down this way and ducting going down this way, which is just not, again, not common whatsoever for a travel trailer this size. Um, but let me get back to the storage, like pots and pans. That's what I was kind of thinking is where would those go? You might have to utilize a space like this potentially or a space like that maybe for pots or pans, unless you just kept them outside of the camper or maybe under the dinette possibly trying to think of different places they could go since there's not really a good designated spot here. It looks like the furnace is down underneath the oven there. Um, but more uh, pantry storage here. So you really have two pantries and these do have removable shelves. So you can also use this as a closet if you want. This gets us to the price here. So you can see the MSRP on this is 44,561. Sales price here at this show is 35,995, which I feel like it's pretty reasonable for how quality of a travel trailer this is, but you let me know what you think. Prep for a Wi-Fi router up here. And then I love these new refrigerators and freezers. Nice, good size. But the most impressive thing about them is if you just don't know which side the refrigerator opens up from, or if it's more convenient to open it up from this side, you can open both doors from either side. And I absolutely love that. I think every travel trailer should have that style refrigerator in it. I think that is just a genius idea. Coming this way, you're going to have your bathroom, nice little magnet catch there to catch the door. Again, a more premium feature that you have with that. You have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Great bathroom storage too lots of space in there a nice big vent fan again another just more premium feature step back this way you even have like led lighting underneath your cabinetry i'm telling y'all i really do like these campers like i i really want one of these for myself i would get this brand for myself and that's i mean i'm not paid to say that i don't have any affiliation right now with this brand or this dealership or anything that is just my true honest opinion i really do feel like this is a great little camper spot here to hang towels outlet light switches and medicine cabinet now the only thing i'm not a huge fan of but it's certainly something i can work with is having a corner shower and I'm trying to, as, as I think about my own camping adventures, like I just went on a tent camping trip with no shower whatsoever for three days and thinking like, oh, I don't want a corner shower. Well, okay, well, a corner shower is still better than no shower at all. So how bad is it really? But those are kind of things that I think about when I'm in my search for a camper. <laughs> and then this here is your shower miser system. So this here, I really like this. What this does is because your water capacities are so limited and especially in smaller campers, 
You don't want to have water running out of your shower head, going down through the drain and filling your gray tank unnecessarily because your gray tank space is limited. If you're running off a of fresh water supply as well, that fresh water supply is limited. So this here, when you normally get into a shower, you know how you turn the shower on, let the water run until it gets hot. That all in a camper is wasted water and wasted space. So this actually recirculates the water and this pipe will change colors. It will lighten up as the water gets warmer. And then once it gets warmer, you can flip this here. That will then send the water up to the shower head so you don't waste any water. And I love that system in there. Really nice. You also have this net here for some storage. And as I step up in here, Ceiling height, not bad at all. It's right at about six foot two to right here. So you could be about six, four maybe and fit in with that skylight there. And I feel like at six, two, I definitely can comfortably fit in this space here and can make it work. And that is just about everything on the inside. Obviously, if I miss something, let me know down below in the comments. But and also keep in mind, they have so many different floor plans with this brand as well. Um, this actually, as I look at this brand, this, I think this wasn't my favorite floor plan for myself that they have, cause they just have so many great options, but this is a great option for a lot of people out there. So we come back outside, let's look at a few other features real quick and let me get this light turned on so we can take a look at the inside of this storage space. Hopefully we can get down underneath here. Okay. Storage space there. That passes all the way through. Get down underneath the underbelly. You can see you have a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly. Down underneath there. Looks really clean. Looks pretty good. Does have a friction hinge door as well, which I like. I can't stand campers where the door just swings freely and can just slam into the sidewall of the camper. So I love that. And it also gives you a clip here to hold that in place can add more solar off the side and then you also have solar up on the roof as well. And as you come this way, you can see your slide out here. So your slide mechanism on this, if you don't like Schwintech or cable slide mechanisms, look at this here. Here is the camper for you. This has a rack and pinion style slide out down underneath here. So that's the slide mechanism. No cable slides, no Schwintech slides. I know there's people that don't like either of those. And here's a great option that doesn't give you either of those. Light switch here for your docking lights. Again, your um, passenger storage space here, fresh water tank fill, and the exact specs on this model looks like the gross vehicle weight rating, so fully loaded, is 6,841 pounds, has a 1,855 pound cargo carrying capacity, so definitely going to be capable for just about any modern half ton truck out there on the market. So that there is the Forest River Flagstaff Microlite 21 DS. Was, yeah, 21DS, oh, outdoor speakers too, right there. And let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this little travel trailer here. Again, prep for a backup camera also, didn't mention that. But wanna know your thoughts. I really, really like this brand. It's one of my favorites, and I'm curious what you think and if you could see yourself camping in this thing. So let me know down below in the comments. That's all I got for y'all. Till next time, live firmly unbound.